Coco fell and Dio Sama goes off on Fortnite for Naughty Bob emo. Beefing with a fucking video game is crazy to me. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> bacon, egg, and cheese. Even though it get crazy, it's gonna talk like Swayze. What up? Beefing a whole bacon, egg, and cheese poppy is back. <laughs> And for night, and I'm gonna make this a quick video. But before I get into that, let me introduce you people to my new and reoccurring best friends. Now, first up is Jay Goldfarb. Oh, that's fake. And you guys gotta understand. I was tripping. I was like, ain't no I way he's doing a good that. Morning post every single morning on my Instagram. And Jay pulled up and he said, Swayze, I'm gonna hit your cash app. Now, when I first saw that, I said to myself, okay, you know, a lot of people said that, but Jay did. Jay hit the cash app. I appreciate you, my guy. And if you want to know exactly what Jay said in that comment section, just pull up on the Instagram. It's right there. And last but not least is the bro you already know, Holy Cigarettes. And he didn't say nothing. Just made sure that your boy got the back with the bev for the rest of the week. Thanks, my guy. And if you, too, want to become one of Swayze's new best friends, just hit the cash app. It's honestly that simple. I'm from Brooklyn. You can honestly buy my friendship. But let's get into this video because at first I said to myself, this is nonsense. This is nothing news. But after the little Coco fell and went crazy, I said, you know what? He just might have a point. Now, I'm sure all of you guys know about. I don't even know what he's talking about. I didn't even watch the live. I just thought that shit was just on some cloud chasing shit. Fortnite. Yes. A survival. You know, he don't need cloud chasing shit. I was just like, this shit is not important. Battle, Battle Royale video that. game that was developed by Epic Games, which was released in 2017. The fuck? Now, I know you know what I'm. Damn, 2017? Yo, that is six years ago. Damn. I played that shit. I wasn't playing in season one. I was like, I think like season three, four, something like that. End of 2017. Oh, like October. I don't remember. Oh, I was a freshman in high school. Damn, you old. Um, I don't even remember, bro. I remember I played like two seasons, bro. And that I'm shit talking was about all of like, you. It was literally the same shit, bro. They used to update the map every 60 days or whatever. It was 90 days. Coco felon. And you basically had to just pay it. it was it was like the first game and I'll get Fortnite this. It was like the first game where it wasn't pay to win. You can't just buy guns, buy upgrades, and make your play better. It had like customizable shit. That was the only thing. Up. But I never paid any money for Fortnite. On Fortnite, never. Playing this V-Bucks is not no. GTA role play. It's Fortnite. And I'll keep it a buck with you, yes. I know you know what I'm talking about. All of your little Coco felons are playing this game. If it's not GTA... I ain't gonna lie, bro. You still playing Fortnite in 2023. I don't know what you're doing, bro. Like, I know everybody picked up picked up Fortnite because it was like 2K was just ass. But during quarantine, it was like you either playing Fortnite or you playing 2K20. I was, I was really like the only thing. But after like 2021, bro... It was just like the little kids on Fortnite. Role play. It's Fortnite. Like, I can just keep it like buck with you. Twenty yes. kills a game. Swayze. Fucking, yeah, bro, it it fucked up when yeah Warzone Warzone took Fortnite out the game and it was like bro Fortnite had so many like um what's it called mobile gamers it was like bro favorite old kids. head plays Fortnite from time to time especially when they brought the Dragon Ball Z characters in there. I said, yo, bro. Nah, the only time I got on Fortnite the last couple of years was the Travis Scott shit. I got to get Piccolo. I was like, Damn. And I got to get Vegeta. I got to get Piccolo. And I got to get Vegeta. But look, look, look. It's not about me. What we're here to talk about is how Fortnite can possibly be Sugar Hill and OYK. Because allegedly they added the Naughty Bop as an emote in the game. Now I want you guys to look at your screen. Yes. Look at your screen. Do you see? Bobbin. Damn. Do you see? Damn, why is this shit so skinny? Yes. Uh -huh. This is what everybody is going crazy about. Now, when I first saw... What are you doing bad selling Fortnite? To suck his dick? What the fuck? The emo been there way before. Oh, it came out like three years ago. Damn. He's just bullshitting. For this, I said to myself, this is a reach. This is a yeah, real... yeah. I, I, I seen a little emo, it, but it's like, bro, 
I feel like Didi Osama and fucking Sugar Hero in general, bro, they're just so defensive now, bro. They know how big the Naughty Bob got and how, how many people it reached. Where it's like, if anything even looks close to that, they're on bullshit. You feel me? The whole two rare situation. They was getting mad at, at um, fucking, what are they called? The, the um, Philly Goats for like doing a Naughty Bop. And they was confused. They didn't even know what they was talking about. They weren't even doing a Naughty Bop. They was doing the Philly Hip Shaker shit. I don't know what it's called. But um, they had a whole name for it. So it's like been around. And then it's like this shit. This shit been around for three years. But someone posted on TikTok, went viral. And now everybody getting defensive over that shit. You know what I mean? Yo. Reach like don't get it twisted. They stopped fucking with Booba because for one trick Fortnite done. Damn, that was crazy. That was the height. It's just like I feel bad for Booba because it was like, bro, the night Bob was everywhere. Like people already knew that song was gonna drop or it was like about to drop or it did drop. But Booba just be like, he be in his own world. I can just tell. Like he don't be on the internet all the time looking at shit. So it's like he might open his Instagram, look at a couple posts, and then just like start editing or going to record a video, going to do this. So it's like he really be in his own world. I understand that. So you feel me? When that Naughty Bop shit happened, he was just trying to go viral and like do some funny shit and dance with 4 1. But the whole time, he was eating, know what he was doing. Stole the milli rock and everything, you know what I'm saying? So I understand people sitting there like, yo, Fortnite is in tune with the streets and they're trying to. Um, suck that life out the culture. I get it. I understand where you're trying to get at. Well, but this deal. right here seems like a, bro, like a reach. Didn't she get like everything done? I know her lips look crazy, bro. Like, I don't. I never understood that. He's not even like really lips, like, 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 like punching his hips. Like if anything, he's go, it's going out. It's like a snap. Like he's snapping. Like just enjoying a a nice jolly tune. When I saw that, I said to myself, you know, I think the internet is tripping right now. They're just like, you know, dragging it. But oh, my bro. God. You really, you really dissed the Fortnite, bro. Like, that shit is fucking stupid, bro. Like, the more I think about it, the more stupid it gets. Like, you gonna diss a whole fucking video game, bro? Oh, Look at her IG. I must have been wrong. Because not too long after that video went viral, Didi Osama took it upon himself to go live. And this is what the little Coco felon said. You work at Fortnite, suck my Cause like, y'all niggas ain't, feel me? Suck my feel me? Everyone at Fortnite and tell them suck your I ain't gonna lie. Everyone at Fortnite and tell them suck your Go in their comments and tell them suck your it's crazy, bro. You taking your whole fan base to try to compete with Fortnite, bro? Gangster. Gangster. Trying to hate the Fortnite. Fortnite. Riveting. Like, and, and it's the same shit that happened with Too Rare, bro. Bro, the whole reason Jay Star and everybody on Sugar Hill side, they were on bullshit with Too Rare and whoever was doing the Naughty Bop or who they thought was doing the Naughty Bop was because they looked at an Instagram account Seen this shit like, oh, looks like two rares guys was naughty bopping or something like that. It was some caption that made it seem like they were naughty bopping. And then Didi Osama and J Star, instead of checking two rare or asking them about it, they did ask them about it, but then they laughed and they were so quick to like hop on it. Like, bro, I understand you feeling protecting your brother's name and all that shit, but it's like, bro, like, I need to do y'all research. Like, y'all just be too quick to jump on this shit, bro. That's social media, bro. Like, y'all be too quick to play internet games. Like, very tantalizing and riveting footage. Now, at this point, I said mm, to myself, well, damn, I guess it is serious. See, Swayze, you don't know what you're talking about. Sit you thought it was a reach. Time, like, yeah. You thought the guy wasn't Naughty Bobby. You thought Taylor it was an innocent yes, emote that Epic Games decided to release on Fortnite. But there you have Didi Osama. Not gonna lie, that dude made the video that had a bad cash and I don't blame him for that. But it's like, why are you believing other people, bro? Do your own research on this shit, bro. Like, you shouldn't be going off one page about the shit, or you feel me? You gotta, you gotta, I don't know, bro. You just gotta chill out, bro. You feel me? Why would Too Rare and his guys invite you to a show, and then, you feel me, they naughty bopping a couple days later? And I heard that shit was, like, months old, too. It wasn't even, like, super, it wasn't, like, yesterday. So it was like, bro, like, that shit is stupid, bro. Like. Like, if they really had smoke and they was really doing a naughty bop, why would they invite you to a show that's stupid? Well, 
the top Coco felon sitting there telling you that he has a problem with that. At that point, I fell back. I said, you know what? I don't know everything. I don't know everything. And this emote could possibly be a Naughty Bob emote. I, I don't know. Someone at Fortnite heard about the OY OGs breakup and that nigga was OGs. So now he's in there throwing subliminal shots towards the OYs with this naughty bobbing emo. Even though it's not called naughty bobbing, it's called bobbing. Pause. I'm just looking at this shit like, bro, really went live. Had to fucking face up to him and fucking say, Fortnite suck my dick. That is crazy to me, bro. No man fear Bob anywhere. It's no man should fear go so bobbing. Corny. No man. Fire feed out. But yeah, it's called bobbing. You know what I'm saying? Someone is probably behind the scenes pulling strings, trying to be funny. I'm on DD Osama's side with this one. Fortnite, stop trying to be funny, man. Wait, y'all sure that shit came out years ago? And cut it out. Whoever's in there. <laughs> Whoever's in there, cut it out before it gets real bad for you. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. Was it a reach? Or is Fortnite bugging? Let me know how you feel. But if you like the video, don't forget to share. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Um, okay. The fuck is this? The Fortnite wiki. It got me on the fucking Fortnite wiki. The bobbin emote. Release date, February 1st, 2019. This is four years old, bro. I got a fucking clip of this shit. Four years ago. Yo. Yo. This in Fortnite for what, bro? That is crazy. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. Wait. If you're not over here, make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. <laughs> Damn. What was that shit called? What was that Kento song called? If Diddy is jacking this, that means him and Sugar Hill is down a thousand points because this emo dead came out before a nice situation. Damn. This man just sent all of his fans to go send hate to Fortnite when Fortnite Ben had this shit out. This is what I'm saying, bro. Do your own research. All I did was look at when did Bob in and Fortnite come out. And then it took me to the fucking wiki. It wasn't that hard. He basically was saying he didn't give a fuck if it looked like it. He was naughty bopping. But it came out before. That's crazy, bro. I promise you, Fortnite don't give a fuck about little fingers. But I'm just saying, bro. If he's so quick to send hate to Fortnite, which Fortnite don't give a fuck about the hate. Like, what's it to him to send his fans to fucking another channel or you feel me another like you should never direct your fans towards hate to, to send hate towards people you feel me you should never do that bro like and that's like i don't know i don't know how to explain this shit but when you have an audience that a ride or die for you like you should never use that negative negatively that's the right word negatively i don't know especially send hate bro Cause he's just saying he's the Fortnite. I know Fortnite don't care, but it's just like he was in, he was completely in the wrong for no reason. He posted a video made caption saying, "NY could take this how they want." Fortnite would dead ass do it on purpose if they wanted to. What did he undo? Yeah, they know one person he's gonna that he knows that Fortnite. Like, like, if 2K makes a bad game, we're on Ronnie's ass. Ryan 2K, we on his ass. You feel me? But Fortnite, they don't got that person. That's basically saying you don't give a fuck if it looks like you're not even... I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't gonna lie, I'm lost. People who played Fortnite from the beginning know this emotes was when the game came out before this happened. Damn. The Philly dude. I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know about the Philly situation. I just know Didi Osama was so quick to jump on this shit. Was to jump on Fortnite's ass and a two rare situation. But it don't matter. They figured it out. Too Humpy. That's his name? Dude, I was doing it. 
suspicious name. Because the dude was inviting him, damn near talking about some, I don't care how in my take this. <laughs> Fortnite would wipe Didi's nose. It's low key a disrespectful caption. Low key lost, but. 